The Morgana Factor is the specialized data that makes Epitaph users unique. Epitaph users are special characters created by CC Corp for use during certain projects. Thus, Epitaph user PCs have data inside them that is not found inside regular PCs. Well, I imagine. That's the Morgana Factor, usually called Epitaphs. So the reason that we can use avatars is because we have that Morgana Factor? I, I mean, Epitaphs? Haven't we already been over the fact that Adelie's Epitaph was stolen? That's right. Hence, Epitaph users. Yes. CC Corp wants to mass produce Epitaph users. For what purpose? You mean as a defense against Ida? Yes, okay. but thanks to strong protection protocols, we've been unable to adequately analyze them. We still don't know exactly what the Morgana factor is. Thanks to that, not only can't we mass produce, we can't even make a copy of it. So why not just bring the creator in on it? He should be able to take care of that without a problem. <laughs> as far as we know, the Morgana factor was not created by any one person. Uh-huh. Well then, how did you get a hold of him in the first place? We managed to salvage it from the dark abyss of this world. <laughs> okay then. The abyss of this world? Each of the Morgana factors has its own name and identity. In my case, the name of my avatar is Tarvos, the epitaph of the Avenger. Yes, we know this already from the first game. Thank you. My avatar's name is Magus, the epitaph of the propagation. <laughs> Let's introduce everybody. As for Aseo, his avatar goes by the name of Scaith. He is the epitaph of the terror of death. Ooh, the same as his PK name. The Terror of Death. PKK, sorry. Yes. The Terror of Death, indeed. It's an odd Spiky coincidence knees. that it's the same as your PKK nickname. Yes, odd coincidence, for sure. <laughs> Even with Magus's The Propagation, we can't repair the Morgana Factor. Would you care to explain Thus, that? what that now is? Now that she has lost her Epitaph user abilities, Atalie can no longer hear Ida's sound. Maybe that's also part of the reason why Adelie lost her voice. Yada, what can we do to help her? There are no alternatives but to try to recover her Morgana factor from Ida. Okay. However, well, that's pretty obvious. Why do we need what? him to tell us that? It will be difficult to trace Ida precisely now that we are no longer on the actual CC Corp server. Then what do we do, Yada? Please inform us. Fortunately for us, this Ida server is far from being perfect. This world contains seams in the structure. The fact that we can save our data is proof of that. That means... Yes, all we have to do is find them. It seems to me that at this point, our only acceptable option is to infiltrate the Ida areas and conduct a thorough search. Um... Infiltrate. You mean with just us? Why do we need this guy to come up with no these plans? They're cover so all basic. The areas between just the few of us. This is an emergency. We will reach out and ask other players for help. We can That's try. Pretty impressive coming from someone as secretive as you. <laughs> yeah. Haseo, I believe you had a relationship with those at Moon Tree. You should go and ask them for help. Ah, uh, that's not such a good idea. Moon Tree? Do you think there's a chance that they would really listen to me? Oh, man. I will go and contact Zelkova myself. You do that. Hi, I want you to go with Haseo and help with his negotiations. Oh boy. <laughs> yes, Master Yada. Uh, what about me? Adelie, 
You will stay here. Oh. <laughs> if news of that arm were to spread beyond this group, it would only make things worse. Very true. Okay. Off to Moon Tree headquarters. Don't forget, the area words are Delta setting Eternity's Night Moon. Thank you for reminding me, because I did I'll totally forget. Yeah, we'll be back. Okay. I'll be waiting at the Chaos Gate. Alright, Pi. You got it. <sighs> okay. So I guess we, we get to go to Moon Tree, because they are such wonderful people to hang out with. <clears throat> Hi, Kun. Oh, Haseo, how's it going? If this is all Ida's doing, it's going to get pretty troublesome. I can't believe Ida managed to copy an entire server. Haseo, we will get out of this no matter what. We'll need all the help you can offer to do it. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, you can count on us. How about Adelie? Oh, Haseo. I'm trying to speak as hard as I can, and yet I can't. It's kind of sad, isn't it? What should I do? How can I hope to return to normal? Um, trust in us, that's how. Alright, so we're going to the dome. And I guess this is kind of like the tutorial on how to use the area system, even though anyone that's played the first game should know very well. Okay, I'm going to throw another save at this right now. Let's save again. And then we'll go with Pi to Moon Tree and see what they have to say. I'm sure it'll be super exciting. And we'll probably get to see Sakaki again. Because I really want to do that. Alright. Hello, Pi. Yes, what is it? The situation is only getting worse. We have to figure out a strategy. What could Ida want? Does it even have an objective? For Jiu's sake, we have no choice but to trust and follow Master Yada, Haseo. Well, like I said before, his ideas are pretty basic, so... Let's invite Pi into the party. Sure, that's fine. I'll be right there as soon as I'm ready. Good. You better, because we're supposed to go and do this thing, remember? Did you forget? Uh, okay, we need to go to something way down here. Setting Eternity's Night Moon. Explos exclusive area provided by CC Corp for powerful guilds currently on loan to Moon Tree. Let's go. Oh wait, what's that? Guild exclusive area given its privilege to powerful guilds. Let's go. And we'll see what the deal is with Moon Tree. Hopefully Haseo won't put his foot in his mouth. Although that's a bit much to hope for. I'm sure you realize this, but we didn't come here to fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Haseo's not the best I'll diplomat. The negotiations, so just act appropriately and try to get on their good side. <laughs> we'll see about that. Besides, it seems that for whatever reason, Zelkova has taken a liking to you. All right. Well, I guess that's good. Do 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 do. It's kind of pretty. Um. Let's see. Just go through the door. We can talk with the Grunty. Hello, Mellow Grunty. Nobody's here, Mellow. I'm so lonely, Mellow. I guess that's who you. Whatever. Kestrel's members are running wild, so everyone went to stop them. Woo you! They're probably just having a party without me. I wish they'd invite me. Woo you! <laughs> Kestrel's member. Ah, oh, you're just gonna. You don't have extra dialogue. That's fine. Okay, so let's warp to the throne room. Hello, peoples. Man, is everyone here? Isn't this like the first time that all seven have been around?
I bid you welcome. Well, thank you. Paseo, welcome! <laughs> God. Have you had the chance to read the email from our guildmaster? His name is Master Yada. Yep, we sure did. Every word. You're awfully peppy. Good. Then I would like to discuss the investigation of the system abnormality. You're beating around the bush. Why not try telling us directly what it is you want? I don't know what you mean. Hmm. Perhaps this will clarify things. I'm oh, saying that perhaps you should consider bowing down and gracefully begging us to help you with your desire to uh. escape from the Ida server. Yeah, no. Members of GU. Ugh. Gasp. You, Raven, that is GU members, are conducting an investigation of Ida, are you? Adelie. What did you tell him? <laughs> Some secret. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sakaki, I... <laughs> I'm quite surprised by... I was... I was not aware that anything like that was going on. I'm sorry. I felt I should keep it to myself until I was able to confirm it, as it was uncertain information. Okay. However, it would appear that it was not far off the mark. That was exactly on the mark. <laughs> now, now, this is no time to be fighting each other. Ah. Another voice Although of reason. Although our positions may be quite different, our intentions are the same. Am I wrong? <sighs> there is no falsehood in my devotion to Moon Tree. Who <laughs> really? All right, let's cooperate with Haseo and his friends. <laughs> After all, we do have to escape from here eventually. Good. Then we shall follow your directions. Naturally, we have no intention of making GU public, rest assured. Mm-hmm, I'm sure. Thank you. So, what exactly is it that you would like us to do? Currently, the place in which we are all trapped is not within a CC Corp server. You must try to think of it as if Someone sent us all to a mirror server and then isolated it. Okay, get to the point. So then, that would be the Ida server. Yes, good job. Our objective is to find the many seams which exist inside this Ida server. Seams? <laughs> yes. Yes. We would like you to help us find phenomena that would normally be impossible to find in the world. But data irregularity. In other words, you'd like us to find a bug. That's right. <laughs> Why didn't you say that so simply Very before? Well. we'll take our units, split up, and search the different areas. You do that.